Hey, what's good, YouTube? JJML TV HD. Obviously, we out here with the Polar M600. I just wanted to do a little quick review because I've had it for like four, five months now. And um, I feel like it's quite decent, but um, I've got a few issues with it. Maybe I'm only the only one having the issues in the first place. But yeah, I wanted to just tell you what's really good and see if you guys are having the same issues or are loving the watch for the same reason that I am. So yeah, Polar M600. Um, I'll just run down the specs real quick. Obviously, 4 gigabyte internal storage to put your music on or stuff like that. Um, you've got Wi-Fi, you've got GPS, Bluetooth, obviously. Um, that's about it. No NFC, obviously, and no inbuilt speaker. Um, but you do have a six LED heart rate sensor on the back. And I will talk to you about that a little bit more. Um, cause even though it's, you know, six LED, I'm not that impressed with it. Um, apart from that, you've got two physical buttons. So you've got one button in the middle here, um, which you can set to whatever you want. Currently, it's default to open the Polar Training app. And you've got your button on the side, which opens your menu um, and also backs out of your menu and, you know, brings you back to the main home screen. Um, now, battery life, it's actually got a 500 milliamp battery battery in it now as far as i know that is the biggest battery amongst any android wear 2.0 smartwatch and um yeah it stands by its ting like with the screen on brightness set to whatever you are guaranteed to get two days usage out of this um if you go into ultra super saving mode then you know you can get nearly four days close to a week of battery life out of this smartwatch um and you know that's also good for when you're using the gps um you don't you know necessarily have to tra charge it straight away after doing your exercise using the gps you can kind of you know use your gps cycle to work use it as a watch at work and then use the gps and cycle home and still have enough juice to bring you into the next day as long as you don't use gps that day as well um which is quite a big thing for, you know, these fitness smartwatches because obviously um, I've got a tick watch there and once you use the GPS, that better be the only thing you're using that day because there will be no battery life left in that thing afterwards. Um, apart from that, you know, it's really snappy. Um, the operating system's nice. You know, you can got all this kind of thing. Um, it's got the Polar Training app, which, you know, does sleep tracking, obviously exercise tracking, heart rate. Um, one of my main issues with the heart rate sensor, um, it might just be because of the density of my wrist but um for some reason when i wear the watch in a traditional way um i can't really show you right now because i've only got one hand and i'm videoing with the other and i'm too lazy to go and get my tripod but yeah when you wear it traditionally you know top um on the top of your wrist the heart rate sensor seems to have a few problems with tracking my heart rate specifically i'm not sure why um i have to end up wearing it underneath my wrist so it can um track my heart rate a lot more efficiently um which is not really an issue for me i just turn the watch upside down i guess but um yeah it's a bit annoying kind of thing because my tick watch e just reads my heart rate you know one time no matter where it is positioned on my wrist um another thing that is good with this unlike the tick watch e is the durability i've played squash with this you know i've just had it on non-stop and no matter how much you bang it or drop it kind of thing this protective casing that it's in um you know it just protects it from all the shocks and obviously if it ever gets tatty you can just take the watch out um replace the band and you know keep it moving that is a look at the device right there. It's got like a magnetic charger on the bottom here, if you was wondering what that is. Um, it doesn't take too long to charge. I'd say just about over an hour. Um, fully waterproof as well, obviously. But yeah, just an overall good smartwatch. Um, the only thing is, obviously, because of that 500 milliamp battery, it's very bulky. Um, I look at it more as a fitness tracker that happens to have Android Wear 2.0 rather than an Android Wear 2.0 smartwatch that um, has good fitness tracking capabilities um but yeah as i said you know it's got all the android wear 2.0 functionality going on there um get to all your android wear apps you know like the weather and stuff like that i'll just show you those real quick um one thing that's really good but i'm not really going to go into it too much is you know the polar fitness training app um which has all the fitness you know training stuff that you want to do on it um, you know, but I've just got squash and cycling because that's the main thing I do. A little bit of walking, strength training, other indoor stuff, other outdoor stuff, other indoor stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know. Um, <laughs> but as you can see there, oh yeah, let me show you what the light looks like when the six LEDs are flashing. 
I'll put the heart rate on. Is it on? Is it on? There we go. You can see it flashed on the back of my hand. But yeah, that's what it looks like there. But um, yeah, decent smartwatch. I'll show you a link to where I got mine. I traded my tick watch in for one of them. Um, look, it's even... Okay, it's taking... Is it taking my pulse off of my finger? I never knew it could do that. Um, yet, yeah, for some reason, when I have it on my wrist, it won't take the pulse. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this smartwatch um let me know if you have it already um is it too bulky for you is this the kind of thing you're looking for are you willing to sacrifice the bulkiness um for you know the mad battery life that this has it has the best battery life out of any android wear that i know of to be honest um yeah let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below but yeah like i said thanks for watching leave a comment leave a like subscribe um and i'll catch you in the next one j jamo out